Hi, Pine Class. Uh, welcome back. It's Monday morning, and in our English lessons, we're going to be looking at doing recounts from different perspectives. And there's also going to be a big focus on using powerful adjectives and seeing if you can use fronted adverbials in your writing, just like we practiced last week. Now, before you watch this modeling video, there's a short film that I need you to watch first. Now, I've sent the link to the film, which is called Catch It, and it's on the Literacy Shed. Um, I've put it onto Class Story, and I've also put the link um, onto the worksheet that you're going to need for this as well. So before you watch my video, you must watch the short film called Catch It. It's very funny. Um, it's all about a group of meerkats who find um, a unique and beloved fruit in the savannah and they need to protect it from a big horrible vulture at all costs. So watch that first and then tune back in and have a little look at this video. So when you've seen the short film, your task is going to be to recount what happens in it. So you're going to retell the story, but you can decide from whose perspective you want to write from. So you can either decide to be one of the meerkats in the story and write from their perspective, or you can decide that you'd like to be the vulture and turn it on its head and write from the vulture's perspective instead. If you'd prefer not to write, you can retell the story orally as long as you have somebody videoing you, retelling it, either again from the meerkat's perspective or the vulture's perspective, and you can upload that video of you retelling the story um, to your dojo portfolio or on the messages section. Now, I've decided that I was going to retell the story from the perspective of one of the meerkats, and I'm going to read you the start that I've made, and I want you to think as I'm reading what have I done to make sure that I've included powerful adjectives and have I included any fronted adverbials as well? Okay, so I've kept the same title, Catch It, and this is my recount. It was another beautiful day on the savannah. As the sun rose, I awoke from my peaceful slumber, stretched, yawned and exited our underground nest with my fellow meerkats. As we poked our heads out of our holes, our eyes were drawn to the most incredible sight. High up in the branches of a tree, in our arid and dusty land, hung a beloved and unique fruit. We scampered up the branches of the tree to get a closer look and lovingly stared at this precious jewel gleaming in the sunlight. I knew there and then that we would have to protect it at all costs. All of a sudden, a huge dark shadow descended over the tree. So I've made a start, but I've only done really the beginning of the story. So you guys are gonna to have to try and retell the whole story, but decide are you going to do it from the perspective of the meerkat or from the perspective of the vulture? Now what I've tried really hard to do is to include some fronted adverbials. And you can see that I've actually underlined the examples I've used in blue. So if you look in the first paragraph, you can see the fronted adverbial as the sun rose. Now that is a fronted adverbial showing time. And don't forget as well to use your comma after the fronted adverbial. I've got mine in there, it's very clear. If you look now into the second paragraph, the other fronted adverbial I've used is high up in the branches of a tree in our arid and dusty land. Now that is a fronted adverbial showing place. It's showing you where the action is happening. It's happening high up in the branches of a tree in an arid and dusty land. And again, I've not forgotten my comma. Now I've got a third fronted adverbial which shows manner so the way in which something is done in the fourth paragraph. And it goes like this, all of a sudden, comma, a huge dark shadow descended over the tree. So all of a sudden shows the way in which something happened. 
So I've managed to include, just in the start of my story really, three fronted adverbials, one showing time, one showing place and one showing manner. I would absolutely love to see you try and use some fronted adverbials just like I've done and see if you can include a time one, a place one and a manner one. Now the other thing I've worked really hard on is to try and include as many powerful adjectives as possible. I want to draw my reader in, I want to make them want to read on and enjoy my story. So I've underlined the powerful adjectives I've used in orange. So you can see in the first paragraph I've got beautiful and peaceful. Second paragraph I've got incredible, arid which means dry, dusty, beloved and unique. Third paragraph I've got precious and gleaming and in the final short paragraph I've got huge and I've got dark. So those are the two things I really want you to focus on. So fronted adverbials and powerful adjectives. If it helps, underline the ones you've chosen to use in your work and that will help me to see that you've understood and you've included them as well. Good luck and I'm looking forward to reading your uh, retelling of the story.